Not good, I won't lie. Hang in there. No. No. <laughs> you know, I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun well, watching the grass grow. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No, oh, there's monsters out there. That'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, the ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground. And a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Uh, here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This is the place. Now tell me, Arthur. Have you ever birthed a cow? No. Right, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. Best not to think about it too much. Yeah, I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? You know the drill now. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those skaters? Yeah. Three. 
And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them. Draw their attention. And then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. All right, sir, take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, because who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Well, this has been very pleasant. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. And give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> There he is. Hi there, Arthur. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine living. Sure, well, as you were. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! What do you want? Well, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? It's a drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. No, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turnoff.
So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes? After everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. We're gonna cut up this way. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can, so shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are going to wake him up. Oh, oh, I'm doing the best I can. Close. Well, oh, come on. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. God. Move it!
Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. 